वेलकम टू माई न्यू वीडियो लिटिल बिट फर्दर अबाउट द कर् फिटिंग सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन सी हाउ टू फाइंड अ बेस्ट फिट कर्व विथ मैथड ऑफ लीस स्क्वायर फॉर स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड पैराबोलर नाउ लिटिल बिट फर्दर वी कैन फाइंड कर् फिटिंग फॉर द एक्सपोनशियल कर्व वॉट इज अवर एक्सपोनशियल कर्व इफ वी हैव वाई इज इक्वल टू a e to the power b x means cup in exponential form then how to derive this best best fit cup so for this the method is very simple first you take the log both the side with base 10 so log base 10 y is equal to log a b x log of e let us consider this is our capital y this is our capital a b log e is our capital b if we replace these values what is our new curve look like y equal to a plus b into x now you can see this is our curve same as curve of the straight line which we learned already so for this curve of the straight line our normal equations are summation y always remember the notation it is capital or is small because if you write the at the place of capital y you write the small y curve is entirely changed because the and small y is original at the end we have to taking the anti log of each value and substitute then we will get the required original exponential equation so for this normal equation is summation capital y is equal to n plus b summation n summation x y is equal to this this is the same as equation of straight line so let's proceed with one example how to solve this curve the given question is determine the best fit curve y is equal to a e to the power b x exponential curve for the given data set of values x and y regarding 2 x is 2 4 6 8 and we have some set of value of y so what we have to first we have to take anti log so our capital y is log y our capital a is i can write here y capital y is log base than y capital a is log base than a and v is small b log base than e so these are the our constant we have which we have to derive with the normal equation and later we have to take the anti log so for this normal equation we need summation y summation x summation x square summation x y so we have to first construct the table so what is our table x y then our capital y x into capital y and x square so 2 4 6 i can remove some a and 10 y is 4.0771114 now what is y capital y is log base 10 of y so for this we can find with the calculator 0.61034 This is one point zero four four six nine, one point nine one three two six for first, second, third. Wait, first is this, second. Maybe I will miss one point four seven. I will miss one value. One point four seven eight nine seven, one point nine one three two six, two point three four. Seven five six four. So this is our y. Next is x into capital Y. So two times this, four times this, six times this, eight times. So this will become one point two two zero six eight, four point one seven eight seven six, eight point eight seven three eight two. 
15.30608 and 23.47564. Next is x square. x square I can draw here easily. x square. So 2 square is 4, 16, 36, 64 and 100. This is our table. Now we need the summation in sum of these columns. So first value is summation y. Sum of this. So summation y is, I will rewrite here for this value. Summation y is 7.394824 equal to n. What is n? n is number of terms given. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n is 5. So we can write 5a plus summation x, sum of x, 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2. So that is 30, so 30b. Next is summation x by sum of this column is 53.05498 equal to 30a. Summation x is 30 plus sum of this is 220. So 220b. Now these are the two equations. Two unknown a and b. You can solve for it. So when you solve what is our unknowns a and b. I will be right here. a is 0 0.1760594 b equal to 0 0.2171509 clear from these two solving and we can find the value of a and b two equation two unknown solving very easy next we need our original constant our original constant are small a small b so taking anti log so a small a is anti log of a. So, antilog of A given by 1.49989. This is our real constant. Similarly, B. What is small b? B is capital B by log of antilog is 10 e. So, B is given by 0 0.5001. So, next our equation best fit curve y is equal to a a is 1.49989 into e to the power bx so b is 0.5001x so this is using the method of least square best fit curve for given data is y equal to a into e to the power b x exponential form curve so that is similar how to find the curve for a straight line and parabola means you have to find the normal equation construct the table substitute the value very carefully then solve it at the end you can take again the anti log and substitute the constant you will get the result for exponential curve next further we will move some another Normal equations form for another curve. This curve is geometric curve. What is geometric curve? Form is y is equal to a plus x to the power b. In exponential curve, we have e to the power some constant or some function of x. Here, on the x, we have some power. So, a x to the power. For this also, we have to take in log both sides. y is equal to log base than capital A, capital X. Here we can take b is as a constant, so b log x. So new curve again in the form of a straight line, y is equal to a plus b x. Next process is the same, you have to write the normal equations. What are our normal equations regarding this curve? The summation y, n, a, n is number of term, whatever the given plus B summation capital X. When you write the notation, always be careful. It's capital or a small letter because at the end, all the capital letters, you have to take the anti-log. At first, taking log. At the end, 
you have to take antilog and substitute in the required curve. Next, another form of curve is y is equal to a b to the power x. For this also, same our y taking log, capital Y is log y, capital A is log A, capital B is log of B. So, curve becomes y a b x because when we take anti-log, so it becomes log y equal to log a plus x log of b. So, this is capital B, this is capital A, this is capital Y. Next, same like our equation for a straight line, you have to write, solve it for A and B, two constant, two unknown and then substitute in the equation after taking anti-log. Next, one another form of equation, I will show you curve like this, y is equal to ax plus b by x. So, what are the normal equation for this curve? Normal equation for this curve is x equal to y x, summation y x equal to a summation x square, n into b, n is the number of term and another is normal equation is y by x equal to n a plus b summation 1 by x square. Calculate all the values from the given data and substitute there, solve for a and b, substitute value of a and b here, you will get the best fit for, for given data. For example, there is one example I can show you with this. So, what are our x and y? I will write directly 1, 2, 3, 4. Y is minus 1.5, 0 0.99, 3.88 and 7.66. If we have X and Y, next step we have to mean X square. So X square I can write here 1, 4, 9 and 16. Next I need X into Y. So X into Y. What is my x into y minus 1 1.5, 1.98, 11.64, 30.64. Next I need y by x. y by x is minus 1.5, 0 0.495, 1.293, 1.9999, 1.9999. Next, I need 1 by x square. So, 1 by x and then 1 by x square. So, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.333, 0 0.25. Then, 1 by x square is 1, 0 0.25, 0 0.1111, 0 0.625. Next, we need summation x into y sum of this term so sum of this term is 42.76 then summation of x square summation of x square is 30 and here n is 4 summation of y by x y by x is 2.203 next we need Summation 1 by x square. 1 by x square is 1.4236. We have every value substitute in our normal equation. So, normal equation becomes xy is 42.76. A summation x square is 30a plus 4b. First equation becomes 30a plus 4b. Second equation summation of y by x is 2.205a plus 1 by x is this 1.4236b. Now we have two unknowns a and b, two equations. Calculate a and b. Your A and B become A is 1.94927, B is minus 3.9295.
So what is your original equation which they want? Required solution is 1.9427x plus plus minus become minus 3.9295 by x. So this is our required solution. That's all for today. And next we will learn about correlation and equation. So that's all for computing. Thank you very much.